Hey team, happy Sunday. I was just um, working on some content for a journo who was asking me about uh, my five top tips to be smarter with their money and I uh, thought it was worth sharing because these tips really apply to people uh, at all stages of their money journey. So the first tip was about saving more and spending better. And um, when it comes to spending and saving, it's not about counting every dollar that you earn, but uh, in, what you do need to be doing is, is cutting costs that don't bring you real happiness or enjoyment. So deprioritizing those things so that you can save more. And once you have a clear save, spending and saving plan, that you have a good system that makes it easy to get your results. Um, the second is investing and being investing consistently. Uh, a lot of people underestimate the compounding impacts of time and money and what you can do over time and the uh, unknowns around investing or the uncertainty and the fear of the unknown stops a lot of people from taking action but what that means is that you miss the opportunity to start building some investing momentum so you've got to start and be consistent and put yourself in a position to take action and that often means educating yourself the third was about understanding property and where that fits in your plan so um Property is a big winner, especially in Australia, because of the leverage impact that you get. So it's, um, you know, use a small amount of money to get this big asset working for you. And it is really hard to achieve true wealth without um, having some level of property in. So you've got to understand when it is, when making sure that you're making the right moves at the right time. The third is about sorting your super. I mean, the fourth is about sorting your super and your super isn't something that needs a lot of attention, but it does just make sure you're in the right fund, got the right investments, money investments consolidated in a way that is um, uh, going to get you the growth that you want over time and that you're not um, being too cautious, especially if you've got a long time till you can access your super money and then making sure that you're not paying over the odds on fees. And then the last one is getting good help. You know, money's one of these things. There's so many aspects to it. It is really hard to do it all on your own. So. Um, building your dream team around you, advisors, investment, support, property, mortgages, all of those things. It's going to help you accelerate your path to financial security and freedom. Guys, happy Sunday. Hope that one helps. Bye for now.